So in today's video, let's delve into Apple's plans to make a rugged Apple Watch for extreme sports and also maybe the fact that AirPods 3 are going into mass production pretty soon and could be slated for release in Q3 of 2021. So there is a lot to unpack and so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So let's begin on the Apple Watch Explorer edition. So basically Mark Gurman says that Apple's working on a more rugged Apple Watch built for athletes, hikers, and people who use their Apple Watches in extreme environments. So essentially this Explorer edition is gonna be your traditional Apple Watch in a more rugged casing, something very similar to the Casio G-Shock watches. And so yeah, it's gonna be an Apple Watch in a huge bulky case that makes it look tougher. Now in terms of features that might be exclusive to this Apple Watch Explorer edition, well of course apart from the additional durability you will get with the new rugged casing, you could also see better water resistance, which is actually kind of impressive since the Apple Watches today are water resistant up to 50 meters, which is actually really impressive for any watch and so, Apple improving upon that for the Explorer edition, it's gonna be kinda mad. Mark Gurman also mentions that along with the additional water resistance, there could be some additional swimming features built into the software that of course, a lot of athletes and people who do extreme sports would benefit from. So yes, much like the Apple Watch SE and the Apple Watch edition, this will be an additional lineup that caters towards a niche audience and it could release either at the end of 2021 or early 2022. Now I'm personally betting on this being released alongside the new Apple Watch Series 7. I think that makes a lot of sense since we usually see special edition watches being released alongside the new versions of the Apple Watch every September and so I don't think it's going to be any different this year. Now, yes, I know I'm not in the market for this watch because I don't do any sports to begin with, but I kind of feel like this is pretty redundant because imagine having a rugged watch 24 seven. I feel like that isn't as practical because of course, once these consumers are done doing their extreme sports and being cool, they're just regular people. And so they would of course appreciate having a watch that A, is quite sleek and isn't cumbersome to wear, but also B, something that works with their fashion because of course, a large part of the success of the Apple Watch is the fact that it works with a lot of people's clothing and styles and having a rugged casing could really ruin that. And so I don't think this is gonna be as popular. And so I don't think Apple needs this in the lineup. I feel like they could just get away with releasing some sort of case for the existing Apple Watch that you could use when doing these extreme sports and then take off when not needed. In fact, a uh, lot of accessory makers already make things like this. And so if this Explorer edition is more expensive than the regular watch, I feel like there's no point. Just buy the regular Apple Watch Series 7 and get an additional case for it when you need the protection. In fact, it seems Mark Gurman himself isn't very sure about this because he does say this variation could be delayed and so I am inclined to believe that will be the case. Anyways, let's now touch on AirPods 3 because we have some new information on what exactly is going on with them since, of course, up until a few weeks ago, we assumed AirPods 3 were ready to go and they were shipping as early as this month, but of course we got nothing. So yes, what exactly is going on with AirPods 3? Well, Digitimes believes Taiwanese supplier ASC Technology has started production of optical sensors for the next generation AirPods, but unfortunately they're scheduled to release in Q3 of this year. So basically that means we can't buy AirPods 3 till the July to September period. And so I do think we're seeing AirPods 3 alongside the new iPhones and that is quite a wait. 
Now this does corroborate with a report from the supply chain king himself, Min Chi Kuo, because he said AirPods 3 will be ramping up mass production in Q3, which makes a lot of sense because Apple usually ramps up production a few weeks before launch. And so yes, this does seem pretty plausible. Now as to why AirPods 3 have been pushed back, especially since they are in production right now, I really have no clue, but I do have a theory, and that is, of course you might know that Apple has an education promo where they give you a free pair of AirPods with a purchase of an iPad Pro, or of course a new Mac. And well, I'm pretty sure Apple doesn't want to give you new AirPods that just launched for free with every purchase of a Mac or iPad, because that's going to be a huge loss for Apple, and so I'm pretty sure a reason behind the delay could be the fact that they're trying to shift as many existing stock of AirPods 2 and once everything has been cleared, then they can release AirPods 3 to the public. And of course, another logical reason that could explain the delays could just be the pandemic and how, of course, Apple is having supply chain constraints. Anyways, tell me in the comments below would you be interested in an Apple Watch Explorer Edition? Because honestly, I don't think there'll be much of a market for this product. But I am interested to see whether any of you guys are actually interested in buying this new Apple Watch. And on that note, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about the April event and how it could take place on the 6th. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.